in this video let me talk about fan in and fan out of our logic gates so at first what is the fan in fan in is the number of inputs of a gate that the gate can handle without impairing or hampering its normal operation the concept of fan in fan in is equal to the number of inputs of a logic gate let's say i have a not gate or an inverter gate here see this inverter gate can take one input at a time therefore its fan in will be equal to one after that you will see that we have a nand gate here and this nand gate can take two inputs at a time therefore its fan in will be equal to two after that you will see that we have a nand gate here and this nand gate can take four inputs at a time therefore its fan in will be equal to 4 this is it fan in is equal to number of inputs of the logic gate now there is a problem arises arises when we increase the number of fan in see here we have a nand gate here and nand gate here here the number of inputs of the fan in equal to 2 and here the number of fan out or inputs equal to 4 the propagation delay of these logic gates increases with the number of inputs therefore the operation of a two inputs NAND gate will be faster than a four inputs NAND gate now let me talk about fan out fan out is the maximum number of digital inputs that the output of a single gate can fit and the gates must be from the same logic family see here i have a nand gate ttl nand gate here and let's say this is its output terminal and you will see that the output of this nand gate is connected with the inputs of this nand nand and nand gate let's say the maximum number of inputs that can be connected with the output terminal of this nand gate is equal to 3 so this nand gate will supply total 3 digital inputs of this NAND gate this NAND gate and this NAND gate therefore its fan out will be equal to 3 to understand the interconnected logic system the concept of fan out is very important to understand the concept of fan out we will use the unit load concept what is this unit load each of the connected logic gate will be considered as unit load if this is a NAND gate here if I connect the input terminal of a NAND gate with the output terminal of this NAND gate this NAND gate will be considered as a single unit load so the unit load determines how many connection we can make from the output terminal of a single logic gate okay let's say I have a NAND gate here and I have connected the output of this NAND gate with the inputs of several other NAND gate of same family if the output of the NAND gate is in high state therefore it the current that is flowing in the output terminal is IOH this IOH is the maximum output current during the high state of this logic gate and you will see that the input of each of the NAND gate will draw IIH amount of current from the output terminal of this NAND gate therefore this NAND gate will be known as driving gate as th this NAND gate this NAND gate and other NAND gates are drawing the current therefore this they will be known as load gate and this is known as current sourcing because this driving gate is supplying the current to other logic gate so I can calculate our fan out high state fan out equal to IOH max maximum output current that is flowing in the output terminal during the high state of this logic gate divided by the current that is taken by the each of the input terminal of other NAND gate there is another case possible when the output is at low state when this output is at low state this NAND gate will draw total IOL amount of current and each of the NAND gate will supply IIL amount of current so if I want to calculate low state fan out I have to use this formula IOL that means the output current that is flowing during the low state of this 
NAND gate and the divided by the amount of current supplied by the input terminals of each of the NAND gate and this is known as current sinking because you will see that the during the low state of this output voltage the logic gate will draw the current from the inputs of the other NAND gate. For a standard TTL gate, our IOH will be equal to 40 microampere. That means when the output is equal to high, the current that is flowing in this output terminal will be equal to 400 microampere, and the current that is drawn by each of the logic gates will be equal to our IIH and equal to 40 micro ampere that means our high state fan out will be equal to 400 microampere divided by 40 microampere which will be equal to 10 10 that means i can connect total 10 logic gates at the output terminal of the driving gate in case of standard ttl logic family if i want to con calculate the low state fan out the current the total current that is drawn by this logic gate will be equal to 16 milliampere and the current that is supplied by each of the gate will be equal to 1.6 milliampere so if i divide these two i will get 16 milliampere by 1.6 milliampere will be equal to 10 that means our fan out will be equal to 2 that means the logic gate can draw currents from the maximum number of total inputs in case of this current sinking in low state okay that's it thank you